I've been on this with my Cody. It started as like my final major project in uh, college. I didn't have the grades to sort of get into the, the universities that I wanted to. So I was kind of like stuck coming out of college, kind of thinking, you know, what can I do, you know, especially like in the Northeast and Teesside, like there isn't many um, sort of creative jobs really. Because I didn't have a place at uni and I didn't have like a job lined up or anything like that. I kind of really didn't have anything to do. And it was like, when I had nothing like going on and I wanted something going on, you know, the quickest way for me to get that was to like make something. And that's when I just started like thinking of products and trying to build a website and stuff like that. Growing up in Teesside, it was like really weird in the sense that you go into school in the town and it's like a super industrial working class sort of town. And then like 10 minutes one way, you know, you've got the hills and like forests and stuff. And then 10 minutes the other way, you've got like the coast. It's always like that kind of mix between like the griminess of like living in a town but then you've also got a mad like coastline and like hills and like forests and stuff. Set can't be like a, a full street wear brand because it wasn't made like in the city and it can't be like a full outdoors brand because it like I'm not like some sort of mountain climber or anything like that, do you know what I mean? So it's always like finding that balance. You've got items that could be easily used outdoors and like real practical pieces but then again they, they look perfectly fine like situated in the street. It's just finding that balance and that's kind of where living in Teesside has influenced the brand. Depop has just became like crucial to a standard like work week for me. For every product you see that reaches the website, there'll be like 10 options that I could choose. So then obviously we've got products that are spot on quality, 10 out of 10, but just never actually reach the site for like general sale. So Depop's just become a place where I can list them products. There's people on there that know that I'll sell pieces for slightly cheaper and unreleased pieces. I feel like Music is like super important, like not only to like promote the brand and like get it out there, but from an inspiration like standpoint, I've always got tracks playing and that kind of like influences me to want to push my brand how you would like want to push yourself as a musician. I think fashion and music now just like go hand in hand, so that's why it's you know so important. As far as like music and stuff, the first person that I was like in contact with, as far as like sending clothes was like Reggie Snow and I sent him some bucket hats and he was like super cool like he, he, he wore them for like a couple of concerts like in London and then that kind of like brought a bit more attention to set since then we've kind of had like Frisco, Skepta, uh, Wiki like from New York he's like super cool and them occasions when stuff like that happens it's like I'm just like super grateful for because the kind of just remind people and the kind of bring new customers into the brand so it's like yeah it's super cool but yeah when Prince Skepta was wearing them like wore it there was like a few people like trying to resell it for stupid amount on eBay and stuff but I don't think they ever sold <laughs> I hope they didn't you know what I mean I'd have probably messaged the guy and said get a refund I'll send you one for 20 quid like <laughs> I always like buy these tips off eBay to replace on the camera. Every like now and then you get footage that people haven't deleted of like kids like opening Christmas presents and stuff and you think like did this guy even like back up his like footage because like if not I'm about to like delete over it with loads of like streetwear and fucking clothes and shit you know what I mean. So if that's the only copy he had of his kids opening presents Christmas 1980 like it's gone now. <laughs> Flipping whizzing on my boss. I'm locking down, I'm at the top. She give me neck, she give me top. Kick her right, then bill it up. Flipping whizzing on my boss. I'm looking down, I'm at the top. She give me neck, she give me top. Kick her right, I bill it up. Get my money up, that's my aim. Seen a lot of brothers come and go. More clothes get made like than humans need. You know what I mean? That's like that's a fact, you know. That's like one of the main reasons that 
you know, I wanted to join like 1% for the planet. Maybe us making the jump to do that will like influence bigger companies and, and even smaller companies. And then like collectively, everyone's like 1% will sort of like make a bigger change. You know what I mean? I don't want people to like buy set just for like the hype. I'd much rather someone buy a, a hat, love it, really wear it, take it to festivals, take it on holiday, you know what I mean? Wear it for like years. And then when they're done with it, you know, give it to the dad. And then the dad wears it, you know, in the garden and stuff like that. Clothes are like meant to be worn. Like, so if I can sort of make a product that's going to last a while and that's going to be worn as much as possible by that person, then like that's what I'm trying to aim to do.